Hey everybody, Pat here from tcast.net and uh, ttutorials.com. I wanted to talk today with you about what green tea actually is and a few common misconceptions that um, people bring up once in a while. And uh, the first on my list is that green tea is uh, generic, meaning that all tea is made from green tea. Now, uh, I guess by now, if you search the you know the website and, and uh, watch a few of my other videos, that you'll realize that green tea is not the end all be all tea. Uh, it is, however, um, one of the most popular and uh, the standard in Japan. So if you're ever in Japan and you just ask for tea, you're probably going to get green tea. But uh, the good thing about that is that you'll most likely get loose leaf tea, which is ultimately what you want. And uh, po you know, contrary to popular belief. Uh, you know, this is more than just uh, good for health benefits. It also tastes pretty good, too, depending on what kind you get. Now, uh, obviously, like I said before, you're going to want loose leaf. And um, there's a few things about green tea that are different than, you know, black or oolong teas or something like that. And I wanted to kind of touch base on those in this video. Whoops, I didn't mean to shake the camera there. Uh, not to scare you, but... Um, so I guess the first thing I want to talk about is uh, oxidizing and uh, what that really is um, with green tea. Now green tea is the least oxidized of, well, I wouldn't say the least oxidized, but one of the most, uh, you know, least oxidized, if that makes sense. So it's uh, right up there. White tea is probably the least oxidized tea and green tea is a step after that. So uh, one of the things that that means is that it locks in all the flavor from when it was first picked. Now, as we all know, or you know, don't know, uh, tea is roasted, and you know, this is. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to put it. The reason for this is is to basically lock in the flavor of the tea. So once you roast it, that flavor stays in there. It doesn't uh, go away or change like it would if you uh, kind of you know let the tea weight, I guess is the best term to use. For example, uh, green tea isn't uh, just, you know, picked and then it sits there. Uh, it sits there for a little bit, but not as much as oolong teas or black teas, because the more you wait, the more oxidized it gets, which means the darker the leaf gets, and, you know, in exchange, the taste will be dramatically different. Um, actually, on that note, uh, if you ever noticed that black teas are more bitter and um, a darker kind of bark, you know, oak flavor, if you uh, if you ever had black teas before, if not, that's okay. Um, it's kind of the same with oolong. That's kind of a lighter taste because it hasn't been uh, roasted as much. But green tea um, almost tastes like grass or seaweed or of some kind. You'll notice it immediately. It'll it'll remind you of. Uh, a lot of vegetal flavors definitely like kind of like a warm celery kind of flavor or uh you know feels like you're eating or you're drinking like a pure leaf and that's what you want from your green tea um that really adds to the flavor it's a light flavor so uh you know when you whenever you have more flavors in the tea you know like some kind of fruit or something you can always taste that green tea but there's a lot more to it than that when you, you when you add those flavors. Those flavors definitely take over that tea, but there's still that green tea uh, solid background behind it that you'll also notice. And, and that's what you enjoy. And that's part of drinking tea is that you don't just want the flavors that you get from, you know, the mango or the hibiscus or something like that. But you want that green tea background to solidify the core of your tea, really. And that's really the main difference between... Uh, all you know, green tea and black tea and oolong tea and all the other teas really is that green tea has this kind of signature flavor to it that you'll definitely notice once you take a sip of of whatever tea you're trying, whether you know you know what it is or not. You're like, oh wow, I can definitely tell that's green tea or you know its counterpart white tea, which you'll notice that too because there's a lot less, lot less. Uh, there's a lot. I don't want to say there's a lot less flavor to it, but it's definitely more subtle than green tea. It's like a subtle green tea, but we'll get to that in a different video. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put it in the comments below uh, this video if you're on TCAST or uh, tutorials. 
And uh, if you have any questions, email me, send me a tweet, whatever. Uh, you can find that on the website as well. All right. Thanks, guys.